Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you my glow gauges and how it's wired because when I was um, putting in mine, I was really wanting a video explaining exactly how you put them in and there's really no such video that actually does it the way that I would want it to be. So I'll just show you how I did mine. Now I've already put things all back together so I'm just going to have to kind of explain but um, you can kind of get it. First, you can see the glow gauges are installed. They look very nice, I have to say. I did have a little bit of a problem of the tachometer sticking um, at certain places, but I disassembled it again and re-taped it down. You have to double stick tape it, or else you'll have a lot of trouble um, with the needles like sticking in certain spots. But with mine, um, as you'll see in a lot of other videos, the wires just come um, inside this part. They run down um, to the bottom. Just a few other videos. You'll see this. Um, there's one kit. I'll probably post a link or something in the in the bar, and you can see. But the wires, um, this piece here, gets removed in a Honda Accord, and then the wires go underneath. And then basically, if you look here, this little flap here pulls up, and under here you can actually see a couple of the wires in here. You can see there's one of the wires right there. They actually just go right down um, underneath this flap. Then, from there, you have to remove this uh, kick panel, I believe it's called, right here. This panel right here. Um, and to do that, you just open up the fuse box. Right over here, here's where you can see majority of the wiring. Um, let's see, over here, uh, you just basically take out this screw here and this screw right here, and then this whole kick panel just pops down. So then the wire basically runs from here in this crevice here. You can't see it. If you look in there, you might be able to see it. I don't know. Um, it runs then over through this area here and ends up over here. And here's um, the wires. Um, here's the transformer right here, this little box. Um, to tie it into the parking lights, um, which are the lights in the back of the car, obviously, um, when you turn on this switch here, you want them to go on. And to do that with a Honda Accord, this top left, um, if I hold it in the shadow, this top left connector is where you get your power from. And the way we did it, we basically soldered a wire onto it, a very small nail, and a heat shrink tubed it over it. And then instead of splicing into it, we basically just stuck the nail right into this connector because it's probably the easiest way to do it and it's the fastest way to do it and it doesn't cut up factory wiring, which is what we wanted. Then um, we put in a 10 amp um, inline fuse, which, the, uh, which is where we bought it. It recommended that. Um, then down here, this yellow here is the ground for it. Then there's a wire coming off of the uh, off of the transformer, which is um, that goes to a pot with, that uh, basically judges your your um, your dim. But instead, what we wanted to do is I like it usually full blast, but sometimes you want to die it down if you're like on a country road and it's like pitch black out. Um, so the way to do this, what we did was we installed this little switch here. This switch here. Um, go up it's high down it's low if I pull this switch out can't really do it there's actually just a resistor behind there um, and if you wanted a picture of that um, I could probably send you one or something like that but uh, yeah it's not very difficult to install um, just basically need to cut up this empty slot though which kind of sucks but other than that I mean it works fine and you can turn them up and down really easily so, then um, your wire harness that comes off of the transformer that plugs into the actual glow gauges themselves just kind of runs um, in here and then they all plug in in here underneath all this and then again they just run right up here into the dash. Um, it's very easy and again the parking, um, parking lights are what you want to tie into so when you flip the switch they turn on. I don't know if you can tell right now I'm in, kind of in the daylight. Um, but yeah, it works real well. Um, I've had them run for about two weeks now. They look really good, um, and they're really easy to install. I had a little bit of trouble 
um, when I was removing one of the screws in here that was stripped. So someone had been messing with it. Hopefully they weren't setting back my odometer. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's really the only issues I had. Also be careful when removing this, um, this uh, panel here. There's clips on the bottom right about here I would say. About in the middle. Um, and it goes into a slot and it pulls back like towards the driver. And this one over here I cracked on this side and had to re-glue it. Um, but really was not that big of an issue. Um, but yeah, just be careful when doing that. And again, I will uh, show you over here just in case you didn't get a, a good look. Um, the blue wire is obviously the, uh, the positive, um, which just connects up into with that blue connector into the red cable that your, your glow gauges will come with. And then this wire goes to the switch right there. And then there's the wire harness that's kind of hidden away. And then I just uh, twist tied the transformer to this bracket right here so that it wasn't going to be rattling around too bad. And look at that, my uh, wire came out. Um, yeah, you just get it in there and it'll, it'll stay. But yeah, that's uh, how you do it.